A while ago, I took apart a detox electrode. It's part of a system used to present the image that your body is being detoxified. It's used by certain beauty clinics and health clinics, health in inverted commas. And I upset a lot of people at the time by showing that it was completely fake. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I've got a couple more electrodes. I thought, let's get straight into and open them. So here is what actually happens here. It's chewed up there, so I shall try prizing it there. These are basically two electrodes made of an alloy. Stainless steel, I believe. Let's get the magnet onto this. Let's get a purple magnet. It has slight adhesion, but not much adhesion. That's quite a purple magnet. So I would say these are a stainless alloy. And the idea is that uh, when you put this in water, salty water, it will corrode when DC current is applied across it. And I shall demonstrate that with a bowl of water afterwards. And people are told that it's detoxifying their body. They generally put their feet into a bowl with a, a big machine with knobs and dials and the usual stuff. And this electrode gets put into the water in between their feet, or it might be built into the machine. And the salty water that they've got in the bowl, uh, when the pr treatment starts, it starts going cloudy and browned. And they claim that it's drawing all the impurities out of your body. All the dysfunctional bits are being dragged down through your body by the electrical flow and into the water. And to make the treatment more convincing, they have usually got a handheld electrode that it will only work if you're holding that electrode, because otherwise people might take their feet out of the water and it might start doing the going brown before they put their feet in. It's all scammy, but to be honest, I don't have a problem with that. As long as they're not claiming, as long as they're not charging massive sums of money, if it makes people feel better, then that's nice, you know, ultimately that's what they go to spas for. And if they're convinced it's pulling impurities out, it might make them feel good. But when they start making false claims like curing cancer, then that is absolutely not good. So let's put this back together. Now we've seen this as just basically two big inner and outer springs. One for positive, one for negative. And these electrodes, they have a finite life. You get to use them X amount of times and then just basically the metal's all dissolved away. Here is one I've not seen before. And I'm wondering if this is the earlier version. This boxy one. This boxy one was more expensive. Um... So this is the same thing. This one has the standard jack socket. That one has a proprietary little two-pin sort of almost figure eight-ish connector on it. Right, this is not necessarily going to come out. Uh, bear with me. So uh, last time, yes, I, I made a video about that and I upset some clinics in other countries where they offered that treatment and they were most angry and said I was a liar and their machine is real and it is sucking impurities out of people. Other people said that it was a bit awkward. Their mum had been getting that treatment for quite some time because she had serious health problems and that was just unpleasant having to say, oh no, what do you do? I suggested that they might want to buy one so the mum could have that treatment at home supplementary to proper treatment. Ugh. But then again, I suppose ultimately getting the pomp and the drama of a clinic is what makes it kind of special, isn't it? These screws are really tight. I'm kind of regretting this. I should have paused. But having said that, I've been able to tell you the background of these units. So what are we getting in here? I, Looking through the fins of it, I can see... Well, looking through the plastic slots, I can see fins inside. This is really chewy plastic. It is extremely hard to open. It's not opening yet. Ugh, get open. Yeah, regretting this. That one is just... The rogue one is just refusing to come out. There it goes. This is a more complex approach. Is it a more complex? I suppose it is. This looks as though it's been punched as two sections from stainless steel. Is it stainless? I shall test that with a magnet. Again falls off, I would say this is stainless steel again. Interesting and complex shape, because they, they do kind of interweave, and I see they've got hot melt glue over that. How have they actually attached the wires to this? Perhaps the hot melt glue is to avoid the wires uh, from actually corroding off before the, the unit has used up its electrodes. Right, anyway, enough. I shall get a bowl of water 
and we'll place one of these electrodes in the water and we'll see it do its stuff. OK, that's us almost ready for your health treatment, madam. Now you have a choice. We're going to add a salt. Do you want the standard salts or do you want the luxury super health salt? Oh, I'm so really important. I'll go for the super health salt. OK, madam, I'll just add the super health salt right now from this little sprinkler. So this makes it more conductive. Otherwise, the treatment would not last for very long. I think it current regulates. I'm so tempted to buy one of those units. That's probably far too much salt. But quite frankly, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing with excess. So I'll just test that. I'll taste it now. It's just water and salt before we do the process, because I can't know what goes into it. Oh, that is so salty. That is almost Clive Green. Oh, that. Clive Green soup. Which electrode do we use? I, I'm tempted to go for the blue one because it's quite stylish, but maybe I'll try both. Let's put this one in. So I've got the meter connected. It's set to 10 amp range. I've got it set 12 volts at the moment, the power supply. It's jumped up to 1.4 amps. I'm not sure what current it actually puts out in the actual treatment, but we shall find out in due course. I'm not even sure if there's a specific polarity. Maybe it's the outer electrode is one polarity and the inner is the other, but you can already see that this is starting to discolour. It is drawing all the impurities out. Hold on. It's drawing all the impurities out of my fingers. Oh, I can feel myself being detoxed. So a company did some research into this. Uh, well, a scientific institution did some research into this because they were concerned about the, the dirt that was coming out of these things. And they analysed it. They did a before and after. And they found out that the water before had typical trace elements like you've traced quantities of chrome and nickel and iron and loads of other things in it. But afterwards, it had absolutely massive quantities of chrome and nickel in it, which are both undesirable things. So maybe your health treatment isn't so healthy. Now, let's see, just out of interest, is it going to change much if I swap the polarity? Because I do see the wires here have blue and brown. Let's put the negative on the blue and see what happens. I would guess that one electrode uh, corrodes faster than the other, but maybe the machine automatically reverses the polarity every so often to try and maximise the lifespan it gets out of electrodes. So that's 1.4 amps. The voltage has current limited, actually, down to 3.9. It's I'd set the power supply, I forgot about that. It was set to current limit, so hold on. Let's just see what would happen with that amount of salt. If I took the current limit up and turned it up to 5 volts, that's just 5 volts. It's current limiting at 2 amps. OK, so at 5 volts, it's passing 2 amps. That's equivalent to about 10 watts of corrosion going on there. And it's putting on quite a show from that. I think, given how long this treatment lasts, that they would limit the current down much lower because they want to give you a 30-minute treatment. They don't want it going dark fast like this. And I know from previous experience, the longer you leave it, the darker it goes until it's literally a cesspit of just metal salts. OK. I'm going to empty this now, I'm going to clean it, and I'm going to put the other electrode in and we'll see how it performs. OK, I think we're ready for electrode number two, the rectangular one. Let's add the special magic salts. So let's not add so much salt, no, let's just go overboard again. I'm guessing they put in a controlled amount according to the length of the treatment, although having said that, I would also guess that the machines are putting out current regulated supply, because if they do that, then they'll just adjust the voltage to match whatever the current, the set current is, and it means that they get a consistent result every time. And it could be it, it's only set to just a few tens of milliamps, if, if that. Let's prop the electrode in. Uh, this is not going to go in too well, right? OK, I'll, I'll hold it in. Right, uh, I shall connect the leads. So I'll connect the negative one. I'll connect the positive to the red, since it is marked red and black. I don't know if it really matters in this instance, because there's not really an inner and outer electrode. And I'll connect this one to here. And here is the power supply. Let's activate the beauty treatment. Ooh, current straight up at 2.5 amps at 5 volts. Some bubbles coming out from the Helotron. 
So I wonder what the most outrageous healing claim that's been made for these is. As I say, I've no real problem if people, you know, go in and they, it's just part of a package and it makes them feel good. But as long as they're not charging too much for this, because quite frankly, the consumables are not expensive. So it is discolouring. You can see it's going brown quite quickly and bubbles coming out. There will be uh, oxygen and hydrogen. Hmm, drop a match into your food spa. I could light this, but to be honest, I don't think it's going to do much. I could go and get a lighter. I'll leave this simmering here while I go and get a lighter. I do not have high expectations, and certainly not above it. Oh, the bubbles are popping. But uh, it's not that exciting. Okay. So this one is doing a pretty good job of putting out the impurities and all the scum that's floating the top here. That's your your health problems all just drifting away, sucking out your feet. Yeah. So I wonder how many treatments they get. I think it did state a lifespan of the electrodes. I guess ultimately just get thinner over time, but the current uh, regulation will compensate for that. And the electrodes are not expensive. They're about £5 each or something like that. Um, but here we go, it is basically polluting the water. The current is still hovering round about the 2.5 amps for that, so I'm just grossly overdriving this. But yeah, there we go, that's it. So if you come across these treatments, or if someone extols their virtues, you can tell them that uh, it's not so great. Hmm. Now, it makes me wonder what is in the little boxes. They do cheap power ones, but unfortunately, because it's quack medical stuff, the price is still fairly high. But I think it might be worth actually ordering one and just seeing what sort of current it operates at when it does these things. There are generic ones that just clip into the end of a sort of standard plastic foot tray. Another thing, because this stuff is basically going to stain the tray horribly, and for hygiene reasons, they... Uh, put in plastic liners before they do the treatment so they've got a nice clean tray for that. But there we go. The completely fake body detox electrodes to other different types. <laughs>